Okay, so what we're going to do now is look at how to use the Screener MP3s for Engage. And it's actually pretty easy and uh, works really well. So let's go ahead and create a new interaction. So now, if you're not familiar with Engage, you have a number of interactions to choose from. And uh, we're going to go ahead and choose the process interaction. Essentially, when you add media, as you're going to learn here, it's going to work the same regardless of the interaction you choose. So we're going to choose the process interaction. And let me hit OK. Now that opens up your interaction window and typical of all of the interactions you can change your title here. Here's your tabs uh, where you will um, add your content, your title for the tabs, and then here's where you add your text, and then over here's where you'd record your audio, and then here's where you add your media, and that's where we'll add the screener videos. So the first thing we need is a screener video. So let's go to screener and um, I actually happen to have a video right here. So we're going to go to the More Actions and download the MP4. So I'm going to click on that. That's going to allow me to download the MP4. I already have one here so we'll just overwrite this one. We'll hit OK. Yes, it's going to download it. Now we come back to Engage. We get to Engage here and what we want to do is add media. So we click on the Add Media button and there's our Engaged video. We're going to click on that hit open and this opens the menu for us uh, where we can choose our multimedia properties and I'm going to go ahead and choose the default setting but you can change your position and size here and then here's where you can add a play bar so we're going to go ahead and keep everything default hit OK and there's your media right down here I can play it I can get rid of it or I can edit the properties we're going to go ahead up here to preview and preview the video now the video is launched. Um, you can hear the audio. Find it online. It's free. See. And this is the default setting. So uh, one thing we'll notice is the video is really small. So it's you know we have a lot of wasted real estate, and I don't have a lot of text here. And the other thing is there's no play bar, so there's not a way for me to start or stop the video, and um, I can't scrub through it. Now that's one of the things I always tell people when you're teaching or when you're designing these e-learning courses. You want to give as much control to the learner as possible. In the case of a video, I always prefer putting the video into or the play bar into the video. That allows the learner to click and play it. It also, you know, if some of these videos can be long, and the worst thing is getting through a five minute video and finding out you zoned out halfway through it. Now you've got to watch it all over again rather than just click and drag and rewind it. So I like to put a play bar in here. So let's go ahead and see what we have to do to actually make the video fill up the entire area and to add a play bar. So I'm going to close this and we're going to go to our media file here which is the video and we're going to click on the edit properties. And what I want to do is change the position and size. So in this case I'm going to go ahead and put it on top and that'll center it and then what I want to do is um, change my size and if you choose custom size it's going to give you a default size. Now I don't really remember what the size maximum size is for this particular interaction. So what I do is I just go ahead and I'll put in 900 pixels and when I click over here it's going to tell me that it can only do 553 by 310. So that sounds good to me. So that's what I'm going to use and I'm going to include a play bar. You can auto start it. I'm not going to. We'll hit OK. I don't really need the text so I'm going to get rid of it. And let's go ahead and preview this and see what it looks like. Alright, and so here's our video and it's, as you can see it fills out as much of the screen as it can. It looks really nice on there. I've got a play bar. I can play it. You hear the audio. And what I can do is I can scrub through the video and um, go to where I want to in the video. Looks really nice, plays really nice, works well. I can click to another area. As you can see, the animations, everything works. I can come back here and I'm back to the slide. So that's how easy it is. Just uh, find the video from Screener, download it, and insert it using the media properties.